Rolling Stone wall. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning, Good morning ladies. Welcome to Wednesday. Good morning. It's oh, Wednesday. Listen, it's not just any Wednesday. It is Wise Word Wednesday. And we have... Oh. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I am moving too fast this morning. I was going to say. I've had like five Mountain Dews. <laughs> listen, I'm still trying to catch up on the one cup of coffee. Yeah. We're no. not quite there yet. Lance, so give we're going to have to like chug a lug for a little well, bit. Well, I've not had five Mountain Dews, but I have had one. And you know, when you space them out, you've got a Mountain Dew. Just, it's you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I could use a little bit of that. Code red. Code red. <laughs> <laughs> Code red. Well, it is Wise Word Wednesday. And as you know out there, I had the very wise. Thank you. I'm Ms. Boswell, your school counselor. I'm Miss Lindsay. And I am Mr. Sizemore with CIS. And the wise ladies and myself are coming to you from Support You News. And like we said, Wise Word Wednesday, we yes. have two. two that you want to introduce. I would yeah. love to. On this Wise Word Wednesday, we have Haley and Hudson. Come on in, girls. Are you ready to share your wisdom with us? Yeah, can you say good morning to Stonewall? It looks like you're ready. Yeah. Are you ready, Haley? Yeah. Excellent. All right, let's get started. All right, so on this Wise Word Wednesday, we're going to read another story from our book, Character Building Day by Day, by Andy Mather and Louise B. Weldon. Y'all ready? So our story today is called The Lead Role. Carmina was thrilled she got the lead in the community play. She was so excited it was all she talked about for two days. On the third day, at recess with her best friend Alicia, she was still talking about it. She talked about her costume, the lines she had to learn, the people she was meeting, and she talked about how much time it would take to rehearse. After all, it's a very big part I have, she said importantly. I may not have as much time to play with you, Alicia. Like I'd care, Alicia said under her breath. Carmina was shocked. What did you say? She asked. If all you're going to do is brag about how great you are the whole time, you won't be very fun to play with anyway, said Alicia. I wasn't bragging, Carmina protested. But then she thought about the past three days, and she realized Alicia was right. She'd been going on and on about herself. Well, she said, maybe just a little. Alicia smiled at her. I'm happy for you, Carmina, she said. It's really awesome that you got the part, but maybe we could talk about something else for a while. Sure, said Carmina. So what's been going on with you lately? Hmm, so do you think it was fair of Alicia to be impatient with Carmina? No. You don't think it was fair for her to be impatient with her? What do you think, Hudson? Would you feel impatient if a friend was doing that to you and going on and on and on about something like that? Would you start to maybe lose your patience with that friend a little bit? What do you think, Haley? You think you lose your patience with that friend? I think I would, if I'm honest. I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to. Right, right. Probably would. Right, because we'd be happy for them, but also sometimes it's hard when a friend is so focused on themselves, right, that they're not giving in that relationship. Right? How would you act if you were in a situation like that, like Alicia's? What if you were the one that got the lead? How do you think you would, would act? I'd try to keep it to myself. Okay, so you wouldn't want to brag or share that with someone. You'd want to just have that to yourself for you to know. Okay, what about you, Hudson? If you got the lead in a play, would you want everyone to know? Would you want to tell everybody about it? You don't think so? You aren't leading, leading lady kinds of gals? And we also have to remember that there is very much a difference in being proud of yourself, yes. right? And, and being bragging. Mm -hmm. So definitely sharing things because you're proud of your accomplishment mm -hmm. is important, right? That's how we kind of build up our, our um, self-esteem mm -hmm. in those kinds of things. But when it goes to the point to be overboard that it's braggy, that's where you have to watch the line, right? right. Absolutely. She was, she was proud of herself. That she had done such an awesome thing, but talking about it for three days and not talking about anything else would probably cause anyone to lose their patience, wouldn't it? 
And yeah, I think absolutely. I think her friend handled it really absolutely. well. You know, even though she was short tempered in the beginning, she was able to come back and use her words mm -hmm. and say yes to lie. And in this story, I'm really proud of Carmina for yes, saying, for Oh my gosh, you know what? That. She's right. Mm -hmm. She's right. And good friends will call us on things like that, right? Be and willing to make those adjustments. We're as well. a good friend if we don't get upset about our friend kind of calling us on right. things. So Absolutely. think about how you would handle this situation and what maybe you would do differently or the same. Talk about it, write about it. We would love to hear from you. We hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday and we will see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.